Gabriella. Oh. Wavy, wavy, my little strawberry sun cakes. Bedtime's over now. Well, come on, kids. The jab is brewing. Bacon sizzling, and the eggs are on the grill. And we all know that the early bird gets all the tidbits. Malcolm. Good. Gabriel. Wait. Angels are the living God. I said, wake up. What do you think this is? The first day of the rest of your life? Now, get up! Oh, ah, no, perfect. Oh, oh. What time is it? It's time you got up, Dingleberry. Now, up and at him. Hear me? These boots weren't made for walking. Up and at him? I thought it was Eve who liked to sleep in. Good. No, it was Adam who liked to sleep in. Eve was the one who snored. What? Eve snored? You gotta be kidding. It's true. Eve snored like a buzzsaw on speed. Don't you remember? She snored so much that as far as Adam was concerned, it was either sleep in or walk around in a daze for the rest of his life. Maybe they should have got twin beds or twin rooms. Twin beds in the Garden of Eden? That wouldn't bode well for the future of the human race. Good. That man lost more than a rib. Good. That's putting it mildly, 007. What is this? Theology 101? Psychology 404? Now cut the chatter and get dressed. While you were purling away the hours, little ones, there was an announcement calling all angels to choir room four. So move! Calling all angels? What for? Oh, I'm afraid I have a much higher calling. It's called sleep. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, don't touch the merchandise. I'll touch the merchandise, all right. I'll touch your precious backside all the way to the floor if you don't get out of that bed this instant. Mm. Now, get up. Rehearsal starts in five minutes. Okay, okay, don't get so happy. I think you need a vacation. And I think you need a swift kick in the Rehearsal? What rehearsal? Good. I don't know what rehearsal. I didn't call it. He called it. Good. Something about a special performance, I believe. A special performance? You've got to be kidding. Where and for what? Yeah, what and where? I told you, I don't know what and I don't know where. I, he called it not me. But according to Uriel, we're performing down there for shepherds of all people. Good. And if you must know, it's in a place called Bethlehem. Something about glory to God in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men. Something like that. What? And I also heard that he himself is going down there to live. Good. What? Down there to live on earth? What do you mean? What's going on here? Yes, Gabby, believe it. To live, to stay. And what's more? is that he's going to become one of them. What? Become one of them? Become a human being? Don't believe everything you hear, Angelica. You always did strike me as a trifle naive. You know what they say, big wings, small head. Well, put this in your pot and smoke it. I've also heard that he's not only going to become one of them, he's going as a baby. What? A baby? This is getting worse all the time. Did you say baby? That's the stupidest thing I've heard yet. A red, raw, puking, caterwauling baby? God himself? What use is that going to be? Yes, a baby. And stupid or not, that's what he's planning to do. He said so himself. And watch who you're calling stupid. 
Heavens, you know how he feels about them. Yes, we all know how he feels about them. And we know that he likes them, loves them, wards, cell phones, troubles and all. Though sometimes I have no idea why. I know that he is constantly figuring out ways to walk with them, to care for them, and to speak to them. But this is going way too far. You got that right, Gabby. This whole thing is outrageous. Come on, Angelica. Don't you realize we're talking about the Lord of heaven and earth here? Not some glorified diaper commercial. Oh. At night, your baby's stomach can shrink up to an inch. But with new Pampers Stay Dry with Caterpillar Flex, they will move and shrink with your child so you can both sleep more soundly. Don't you see how ridiculous the whole idea is? Good. Oh, give me a break. What business is of mine whether it's ridiculous or not? It's what he wants to do. And I think it's rather charming. You always did think everything's charming, Angelica. If your brains were made out of gas, you wouldn't have enough fuel to drive an ant's motorcycle around the inside of a Cheerio. What? You ate in sheep's clothing. How dare you? Hey, you two. Give it a rest. A baby. Is this all for real, Angelica? Will he cry as they do? Will he suffer? As they do, Angelica? You know what the Greeks say? No god worth his soul ever suffered anything for anyone. That's what divinity is all about, isn't it? I mean, a sort of detachment. Detachment, yeah. Why get your hands dirty? But God become a man? God become a baby? I just can't see it. Why would he do this? Why? Well, you know perfectly well why. It's because he loves them. And, well, because... God loves you. It would make a great bumper sticker, Angelica. Hey, stop interrupting. I wasn't finished yet. Oh, I suspect he'll cry now and again, Gabby. Big time. In any case, you have to admit, it's a rather ingenious idea. I mean, you know how good he is at coming up with new ideas. I mean, talk about getting close to the real lives of real people. I can't imagine anything better. Well, I grant your point, Angelica, but what about when he grows up? What's going to happen then? I don't know. It's anyone's guess. But I suspect he has a plan. Yes, sir. 